privilege to welcome my next guest. He's the undisputed king and queen of tea time telly. Please welcome Mr. Paul O'Grady. Are you very well, home. Charlotte? How Happy are you? Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. Love. I'm not too bad. Yeah. You well? All right, yeah. Now, something that I didn't know about you, and I don't think many people would, is um, that you were once married yeah. to a Portuguese lesbian waitress. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you know that? No! Really? No! And uh, Teresa, she had a very Catholic family who were always after her, you know, to, to, why aren't you married, Teresa? Why don't you marry? And we used to work in quite a rough gay bar down yeah. Westbourne Grove, behind the bar. And I said one day, oh, I'll marry you. <gasps> so we did. And oh, I think that's I'm so nice of you. No, she was a nice girl, but I'm the only person. But do you know when people get married, they, yeah. um, they normally get a backhander, you know, yeah. 20 Gs for marrying. Yeah. I paid for the buffy. No! <laughs> Rude. I paid for all the bevy in the pub. I lost yeah, out. I could have made a fortune. But she was really, she was older than me. She was a really sweet lady. So there you go. But I'm, divo I'm a divorcee now. Yeah. Oh, only got... recently, though. Yeah, only a couple of years ago. We yeah. got 20 years later, we got divorced. Well, yeah. we've all been really worried about your health this year. It's been all in the papers and everything. So are you back on the road to recovery? I, I tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I had a, I've been living, I, when I had the first heart attack, I really changed my ways. So when I had the second heart attack, I was more than pissed off, I can't tell you. But you were still smoking in between, weren't you? Oh, like a chimney. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were only smoking it recently. Yeah, Good yeah. boy, and me. But I'd sell a kidney for the Benton and Edges. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it wasn't really that much of a good idea to go on Most Haunted then? Not really, no. Let's have a look at the clip. <laughs> what? What? Jesus, what? What? I can't. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the I'm serious. I'm not, I'm not taking the piss or nothing like that. There, there, right there. Something was there. I'll tell you now, something was there. I'm serious. On my life, something was there. What was there? Do you know what a Beth Fielding who does it? We're sat in this bloody cellar in this pub where Jack the Ripper had been or something. Oh. And she's, we're in the dark, you can't see a thing. And she's saying, if there's anybody here, please throw something. I'm surrounded by 50 metal tags. <laughs> I said, are you out your friggin' mind? I'm going to get belted on the head here by a keg again. Oh. She said, please throw something. And so she goes off, and I'm sort of sat there, and I don't know whether your mind plays tricks, but in the corner I sort of saw a bit of a shape. Really? Yeah, I left there. I was gone. <laughs> yeah, sorry, girl, sorry, feminism, that's it. Yeah, yeah. women in the first, my art. Yeah. <laughs> You've had some great guests on your show. Who has been your favourite? And did you ever get starstruck as well? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, Lauren Bacall. I mean, yeah, some people have got widow. Yeah. She sat on my couch. Yeah. You know, I'm going, hell, fire. Yeah. And then, you know, unless she's leaving, she said, give me a mobile number, kid. <gasps> did she? So then the phone went, so about 8 o'clock one morning, I had this, POW! And I'm like, Jesus, who's this? <laughs> so who's, who the bloody hell's this? Think of me at this friggin' hour of the morning. <laughs> Lot of McCall, hello. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the best person I ever met was uh, Tom Cruise. I was doing uh, a TV show in America. And I was in the dressing room. I, I, got, I got half a face of makeup on. I looked like something out of Clockwork Orange. Tom Cruise knocked on the door. I opened the door, he's there with his two kids. Can I come in? We're really big fans. I play a CD to my kids every night. My mother's behind him going, smoking. Introduce me to Tom. Introduce me to Tom. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Tom, when you turn around to my mother, she's like, hi, I'm the best of. <laughs> she's fabulous, and he was a lovely guy. He's only it's like a bother with, isn't he? Oh, he's not that this small. Bit. I don't think he's that small. Isn't he? Everyone's tiny to me, because there's a tower yeah, over them. Yeah, you're really tall, isn't yeah. you? Yeah. Well, fat sex one. Yeah. All right, well, we've, uh, we've got a clip from one of your shows, which is rather fabulous, so take a look. It's easy. I mean, it's not easy. You, know, you have to shave your arms if you're going to do it properly. Shut up! 
<laughs> yeah, because otherwise you smell all the stinging, and I thought, I'm not doing oh. that. Them days are out. I mean, I used to do it as Lily, with two tassels here, seriously, <gasps> and a butterfly with a tassel hanging off it, and a set of wings. <laughs> so it's at three o'clock in the morning, in a nightclub in Hamburg. Wow. To a gang of drunken sailors, you know. Oh. And you wonder why I give it up. Uh, so do you miss Lily? No, not at all. Really? No, no. I love Lily. No. Do you know why I, d I don't miss her? Because it was like a bit like being a geisha, because you go in, yeah. and no, really, and then, you know, you put all the slap on, then the tights are gone, then the corset, then all the bits and pieces, then the wig, and yeah. so eventually the only thing that you could breathe with your hands. Yeah. yeah. And you're in bloody agony. Yeah. I'm going to loo. I mean, imagine trying to get it out. I'm not being rude here, but trying to get it out with nails like that on, yeah. three pairs of dancers' tights, a corset, yeah. and a panty girl. You'd be like, go oh, with the... <laughs> oh, oh no! And like you'd come out with your kidney in your hands, so you go. Oh, oh. Shit, it's my spleen. But I did enjoy it. I had a ball doing Lily. Seriously, don't get me wrong. I went to some fabulous places and I met all sorts of people in it. Would it you made mind if we show bob. a clip? Because I love Lily. No, show it. This is a clip from 1998. Oh God, don't. <laughs> Say, carry a pot of pepper in your handbag. What bloody good stuff! That's one of them big wooden jobs you get in an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Mug them. Or mace. I don't mean the stuff you put on cakes. It's like a mace spray. It looks like a breath freshener. In fact, I've heard that one. She does. It was a breath freshener. She was like that for a month. Beefy, she was a big beefy girl, Lily, no! wasn't she? I'm uh, like that now after all these arses. Yeah. Not left. Do you do you like Christmas as a whole? Not really. Oh, no. why? I love Christmas. I got, I got a game last year. They gave an electric shock. <gasps> I've got a fucking heart that's hanging on. You know. What I, mean? <laughs> I guess this machine that you have to do this with like a thing, and they'll think. Yeah. Can't do that. Why didn't you just shoot me or hit me over the head with a frying pan? <laughs> Anyway, now, Paul, we scoured the shop for this year's most obscure and pointless presents. All you have to do is delve into my sack and tell me what you think it's for. And do I get to so keep it? If you can guess it, you get to keep it, yeah. Okay. What do you think that's for? Pull the trigger. It's something to do with artificial insemination. No. <laughs> Open your legs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what happened to what? I don't know. It depends where you... Did you get it in Amsterdam? You, you use it around the house. <laughs> it's for catching spiders. Yay! 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 Amazing. Really? I love it. Oh, isn't that bad? Well, why don't you just pick it up like that and chuck it out the window? Because they're horrible. They're not. So you're the a few legs in that, really, weren't you? Yeah, but it does look faintly opposite. I bet you somebody would have a good time with that, wouldn't oh, it? you've got a dirty mind, Paul. <laughs> Well, that's your first present. You can keep that. I don't want it. <laughs> Go on. Go on. <laughs> I'll give it to a friend of mine who never gets a shag. Right. <laughs> now, what do you think that's for? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, but I hope this isn't sexual, because I should imagine a night with this, she'd end up in the A&E. <laughs> no, um, that's to pick something up as well, isn't it? That's to pick a hedgehog up. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Dog poo picker up Oh, that's disgusting. Really? Yeah. Well, why don't you just get a plastic bag and do what I do? When the dog does it on the bit, you get the plastic, you make a big fuss, you go, oh, buster. And you get your plastic bag out, and you sort of go, mm -hmm. and you just wave it over the turd, and then I go, oh. you don't pick it up, you just walk on. <laughs> and it's just everybody up. Well, Paul, you'll be a brilliant guest. I well, hope you have you. a fabulous 2017. I hope you have a fabulous Thank you so much for coming on. <laughs>